And one of the primary goals of the enemy in Akhirul Zaman was the destruction of the Islamic Khilafah. Because once Muslims had the Khilafah, they were a united community. There was no such thing as Algerian nationalism and Moroccan nationalism and Egyptian nationalism and Pakistani nationalism and all that nonsense. Innamal mu'minuna ikhwa. We were a united community under a leader. And therefore, we had power. We had power when we were united. And once we remain united with the Khilafah, with the Khilafah Israel could never have been created. In order to create Israel, they had to destroy the Khilafah. And uh, the city of Constantinople played a significant role in the destruction of Khilafah. How? The Khilafah, the Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam left us was in the city in which he was buried, Medina. Today, that city is forgotten. It plays no role in the affairs of the Arabian Peninsula, none at all. The politics of the Arabian Peninsula, the strategic affairs of Jaziratul Arab, what role that Medina plays? Zero. <laughs> it plays no role whatsoever in affairs of the world of Islam, nothing. Kuala Lumpur plays a more important role than Medina. Medina is forgotten. Umran ubaytil maqdis qarabu yatrib. When Jerusalem would be flourishing, said Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, Medina will be in a state of forlorn desolation kharabu yatrib what role does Medina play in world affairs today any role at all none so first of all you take the khilafah out of Medina out of Hijaz so Hijaz is no longer the center of the world of Islam with the Hajj and the Haramain so they took it to Damascus, uh, Ma'awiyah, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And then they took it to Baghdad. And then the Fatimids took it to Cairo. And then it was taken to Spain by a breakaway branch of the Umayyah. But it was still Arab. It was still Arab. And Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam was an Arab. And the early Muslims, the Salaf, they are the ones who said, Khilafah belongs to Quraysh. I didn't say so. And the Ummah agreed with that. This was the collective wisdom of the Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, that Khilafah belonged to the Quraysh. Because the Quraysh had uh, control over the house of Allah, the Kaaba. He said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, the best of those who came from Ismail Alaihi Salam were the Kinana. And the best of those who came from the Kinana were the Quraysh. And the best of those from the Quraysh. Banu Hashim and I am the best of Banu Hashim. <laughs> and so Quraysh had a noble status, a very noble status, as the best of those who had come from Ismail alayhi salam to the Kinana. And then the tragedy occurred. A mysterious tragedy occurred. An Islamic scholarship has to do some homework now to explain it. That the people came out of Central Asia 
Turkish people. With a mysterious power. And they were able to defeat the Byzantine Empire in the 13th century. And with that defeat, the Byzantine Empire was now shaking. And then they were successful in conquering Constantinople. And when they conquered Constantinople in the 16th century, I think it was 15... I must... 14 something? 14? 1453, Allah. thank you. This is Masjid Bukhran, remember that. <laughs> 1453. They said, this is the fulfillment of the prophecy of Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Lataftahanna al-Kustantiniya, said the Prophet alayhi salatu Notice, He's using the name Constantinia. You will most certainly conquer Constantinople. What a wonderful commander will command our army. What a wonderful army that would be, which will conquer Constantinople. And then the claim was made by the Ottomans, the Osmanli, that we are the ones about whom the Hadith is speaking. That uh, Sultan Muhammad Fatih is the man that the Prophet ﷺ praised. They were existing to the lecture in Turkey. Eh? <laughs> we say no. We say no, you're wrong. The conquest of Constantinople is still to come. And then, 